All right, guys. Well, before we get into today's video, I'm going to give you another opportunity to win a piece of Christopher Scott merch. And if you've noticed in my last few videos, I've been doing this in every video. And I don't know, we may do it in a couple more. Not really sure yet. However, today's video, you're getting an opportunity to win some more merch. So if you would like to win a piece of Christopher Scott merch with the new Angelfish logo on it, all you got to do is pay attention during this video and enter as it tells you to. And uh, that's it. You'll get a chance to win. Also, if you have not entered on Instagram, there is a new giveaway that's going on an Instagram right now as well as well as the last two videos both of those giveaways are still open so go watch those two videos and make sure you enter over there if you haven't done so already and essentially with this video being released right now it gives you four opportunities to win merch we are limiting it to one winner per giveaway however you can almost quadruple your chances of winning enter on Instagram enter in this video enter in the last two videos basically what's gonna happen is on Instagram I'm gonna pick a winner from those comments on every one of these videos I'm gonna pick an individual winner from each one of these videos. At this point right now, we're giving away four total pieces of merch. Make sure you enter. Hey, what is going on everybody? Well, we are back for another video today. And once again, we're gonna be outside scaping because it is a beautiful day here in Texas. I think today it's like in the upper 70s, which is once again, very unusual for us because it's usually it's really hot at this point of the year, but not today. We have not a special guest, but a guest nonetheless, who is normally not on the videos, but today he decided he wants to be. So that person is... Max Robert. Max Robert, who's my little son sidekick in most of these videos however he's not always willing to be on camera i know people keep asking whether or not you know he's gonna get to do his own channel and his own videos and we're working on that kind of stuff but you know he's got to ease into it and he's got to decide on his own that he wants to do it i'm not gonna force him into doing it but today he wants to participate so i'm gonna let him participate and we're gonna start with let little max robert sit here and tell us exactly what we're gonna be doing today so we're building a guppy breeding tank today and we need to go pick up a few things so we're going to Walmart to pick up a tub. We gotta pick up an aerator, an airline hose, a sponge filter. We gotta pick up some floating plants and most importantly, guppies. Let's get into this today. We got our 12 gallon tub from Walmart, only $4.50. And we're using this as the guppy breeding tank. Okay, we picked up this sponge filter for $4 at Aqua Studios. We picked this aerator up from Walmart and it's only $6. We got some hornwort for $3. Okay, let's get this thing together. All right, guys. Well, like little Max Robert said, let's get into this today. And really what we're trying to do is show you that you can breed guppies for extremely cheap. So for less than a $30 investment, you could potentially profit off of selling guppies. You could breed them for yourselves, all kinds of things. And at this point now, our investment is pretty low. Okay, we're going to first wash this tub out. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, we went ahead and moved the tub where it's going to go right above the turtle tank. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get our sponge filter hooked up and get the power ran for the aerator and get this thing going. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and place this down inside of the tank where it's going to go, which doesn't really have to go in a specific area. Now, guess what we have to do? Fill it up with water. Fill it up with water. What we're going to be doing today is actually we're going to be using some RODI water. All right, guys. Well, we have our tank set up. Now, this is not a necessity. You don't absolutely have to do this, but it is something I do in my live bear tanks, and that is as I add aquarium salt. So, aquarium salt is good for live bearers. So, it makes the water a little more stable for them, as well as it, it's just it's good for them overall, right? It allows them to thrive instead of just be alive. So, we're gonna go ahead and add some salt, and really, this particular brand of salt, it's one tablespoon spoon per gallon of water so it's going to end up being about 12 tablespoons but you don't want to add it all at one time you're going to do it slowly over days i'm going to add one tablespoon initially which you can see right down here i'm going to come in here and just mix it up and get the salt nice and mixed up in here and that stuff will start to dissolve over time in the water this is very much like a salt water tank in the fact that when water evaporates it's going to leave the salt behind so you do not have to add more salt when you top off the tank the only time you have to add new salt is when in fact you do 
a water change, which is what will remove the salt from the water. So over the next few days, I will add additional amounts of salt to this just to build up the salt amount in the water. But for now, this is good for us to initially get these fish in here. I've treated the water with a chloramine remover which is just your standard tap water safe type stuff. I've also added an instant bacteria to the water. So the water is now cycled for an initial load of fish. And I've also added my aquarium salt, which will stabilize the water for these guys. So the only thing that we have left is to get plants in here and to get the fish in here. I'm gonna hand this back over to little Max Robert and he's gonna go ahead and get these plants in here. So what we have in here is we have some hornwort, which this hornwort is actually gonna grow like crazy. This stuff is, it grows ridiculously fast. And guppy fry love to hide in this stuff. So this stuff is over here. We have a little bit of red rotala right here that was left over. So I took all the kind of remnants of plants from the fallen treescape and I actually put those in a bucket and I saved those so I can just throw those into a random tank because they will actually grow. So there's quite a bit of stuff up here that'll float at the top that can actually actually grow floating. Next step is, is we got to get these guppies in here and uh, yeah, we'll be done with this thing. So we have our bag of guppies here and we actually had them put them in the same bag because they're going in the same tank. However, I just wanted to tell you real quick. So what we have in here is we have six females and two males. At a minimum, you should have at least three females to every male in your tank. Otherwise the males will completely just drive the females crazy and can actually end up killing them from stressing them out. So you want to have at least three females for every male in your tank. These things are very inexpensive. I mean, you can buy these even at big box pet stores for literally just a couple of dollars a piece. So what we have in here is we have about uh, what I paid for them and we're about $14 for all of them. So we're gonna go ahead and get these guys in here and girls. So little Max Robert is gonna go ahead and pour those in there. And now I will tell you, we don't agree with pouring aquarium water into a tank. However, we trust fully aqua studios water so we don't mind so much so what we have in here is we have two males and six females and it's a fun project hopefully you guys enjoyed this hey max how simple was that really simple like so simple you could do it yourself huh like if one of you were four mate five six you yeah. could do it exactly it's really simple so yeah like max said regardless of how old you are four five six it does not matter you could literally breed guppies yourself in something as simple as this i know i've made a video before setting up these guppy breeding tubs and you know it's just it's just something we like to do we have all kinds of guppies around here we have everything from the store-bought guppies that are super cheap you can get anywhere to we have all of our guppy fry right Right here from that came from the guppy guru and these are specialized guppies these are dumbo ear purple mosaic guppies over here we have some mutt guppies in this tank here which are mixed crosses between all kinds of things and if you look in this tank if you notice all these floating plants and there's that red rotala some more of it these are all remnants of plants that i just kept from when i escaped other tanks and i just throw those in here absolutely the best thing to do is when you have parts and pieces of plants throw them in your tank and if they die take them out but if they don't let them stay and they will actually start to grow when this piece of hornwort right here was put in here it was a piece about this long and now look how long it is so always keep your scrap remnants for tanks like this hopefully you guys enjoyed that and it's something that you want to do as well is start breeding guppies it's such a simple thing and it is so fun and if you're older and you have kids it's a great thing to teach your kids i mean it's very very easy and like you just saw there, 30 bucks for everything. And even if you add the chemicals and things you need to be able to do that, you're still only in it for a few dollars. Go to a local fish store, pick up some instant bacteria, some water conditioner, things of that nature. And it's very, very simple and very inexpensive to start this hobby. All right, guys. Well, with all of that, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have not yet entered for the giveaway, make sure you do that. And once again, all you have to do is just subscribe, like. I'd like for you to share this video on Facebook, Instagram, wherever you have another social media account. If you can't do that, just simply comment below and let me know what your favorite color is. That's it. That's all you have to do for your chance to win a piece of Christopher Scott merch, which is this right here. If you don't want to wait and try to win, you can go buy it right now at thefanaticbrand.com or you can find the link directly to my apparel section on thefanaticbrand.com in the description below. Make sure you go pick some up and if you do happen to get some, make sure you post a picture on Instagram, Facebook, wherever and 
tag me in it so I can go ahead and repost it. But with all of that, hopefully you guys went on to enjoy this video today and hopefully you're enjoying the content. If you have not subscribed or liked this video or followed me on Instagram, Facebook, please do that now and hey, we will see you next time.